So the question was posted on Contractor Talk a while back, how do I get higher paying customers? And that's the topic I'm going to tackle for you today in our video. My name is Carl with the Remodeling Marketing Team, and if you haven't scheduled your strategy session with me yet, I want to invite you to do that, and uh, we'll take a look and see if there's things we can do to help you grow your remodeling business exponentially in the years ahead. But the question was posed, how do I get higher paying customers for my home remodeling business? And there's a couple of things we need to examine there. Number one, it all begins with what message are you putting out into the marketplace? Are you throwing out the wrong kind of bait, just like fishing? If you're looking for the bigger fish, you've got to know what the bigger fish respond to. But let's really break this down. You, you've got a couple of types of buyers in your business. You've got those who are budget-minded. So what they really care about is how much is this going to cost me? And they will cut things out of the project to meet a number. And, and the reason for that is they are limited by their financial capacity, uh, what the bank is willing to lend them, all of those types of things. But then you've got a different kind of buyer. This is the top tier buyer, the upper level buyer. And that buyer has a completely different motivation. Their motivation is they like luxury, they like the best of the best, and they are not afraid to pay for those things. They want to create spaces, they want their home to be a place that when people come over, they are jealous. People ooh and ah and talk about how amazing their home is. That is their motivation. It is about having the best of the best. It is about luxurious living. And so what you've got to consider is, does your marketing portray your business as that type of business? What I've seen with many remodeling companies is they tend to take this jack-of-all-trades type marketing or almost this handyman kind of marketing to where people aren't even really sure that they do high-end remodeling work. One of the things you have to do is you have to set yourself apart. Now, what this means is there are going to be people that will not do business with you because they can't afford you. And what your marketing has to do is it has to to draw out the right type of people and so as you're crafting your marketing imagery and your marketing message one of the things that you're going to be seeding into that is that you are a higher end provider of services and that you don't just work with everybody that you add a lot of value to what you do and so you do charge more for your services. You're not just hiring anybody off the street to fulfill those. You vet your people. Your people are very skilled. They produce a quality product. You've got lots of video, lots of pictures to prove up what you can do socially. Those are the types of things that are going to help you draw out the right kind of customer. The other thing I'm going to suggest to you is that you even go so far as to pre-screen your potential customers. You know, one of the things that you can do is say, we really prefer to work with customers who are doing these types of projects. And there's a, a screening form that you go through with your prospective customer. And if they don't meet those criteria, then have some resources that you could refer them out to so that you're only working with the top tier of customer in your marketplace. Hope you find that helpful. If you haven't scheduled your strategy session with us already, go ahead and do that. You can do that at remodelingmarketingteam.com, and I look forward to working with you soon.